Hello, so uh, my name is Al, and today I'm going to present how to do the homework 10 question 1. And uh, for question 1, it asks me to determine the characteristic table of this diagram of the circuit, what is the cost of the circuit, and what is the critical delay of the circuit. So uh, looking at this circuit, we know that it is a uh, uh, SR NAND gate. SR latch NAND gate and we know that the for SR latch we have the truth table shown below we have zero it, when S and R zero is gonna be in undeterminate because when you have S at zero and then R zero after the NAND gate it's going to be one and you cannot have Q equal to 1 and Q not also equal to 1 so that is why it undeterminate and then afterward you have 0 1 and so up which is going to be 1 for Q and then a uh, complement of that it's just 0 so next one 1 0 going to be 0 and then complement of that will be 1 1 1 and that is where the function doesn't change so Q and Q not so there is a truth table for um, so SR latch, normal SR latch using NAND gate. And we also know that for the NAND gate, we have uh, two input AND gate. We have A and B and the um, NAND gate complement. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1, 1. We will have 0, 0 going to be... 1, 1, 1, and 0, because if A and if A and B is 0, 0, 0, um, NAND gate of that will, uh, AND gate of that will be 0, but then since it's a complement, which is a NAND gate, it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 0. So for this one, we want the characteristic table of this whole circuit, not just the SR latch or the NAND gate. So with that being said, um, Especially, we also introduce the new um introduce a timing, which is a clock here. So we will have a truth table that have clock S and R as input, and then output for Q and Q naught. And let me just write down the possible combination zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one. And then for this, we will have a z as clock equal to zero, so clock equal to zero over here. For both of these, we have S and R also equal to zero, so zero, zero. You, uh, we know that when clock, um, when clock and S is zero, we look back at the NAND gate truth table, we have zero, zero, which is split on one here, also have an one here. And you know, for SR latch, when you have S and R input as one, the value of the function will not change. So for first one, you have Q and Q naught, and then afterward you have the R change to one. So when R is one, you also know that. Look back to the uh, NAND gate truth table. You have zero one, which is also spit out one and then again one and one it just doesn't change in the output so q stay q and q not stay q not and then afterward we have uh when s is one and then when r is zero so when r is zero and s is one we know that for zero zero is going to be one so this one this one down here stay as one and then one zero is still gonna be a one, so up there is still in one, and when one and one is still just going to be the same. Next one, when clock is zero, S and R are both one. So yeah, S and R is both one, 
again if it's just one and zero and zero and one is still gonna be one the only time when it's going to be changed is when both of them is going to be both one so with that being said we have one and one one and one is still the same we have no change in the output so q and q not stay the same throughout for these for when clock is zero and with that being said now we move on when clock is one so when clock is one so when clock is one for uh so clock and and then both s and r is zero now looking back here we know that if zero one or one zero is still going to spit out one and one again the situation happen again if it's one one then it's just gonna be q and q naught because a function not gonna want to change um and now when r is one instead of zero when r is one instead of zero now looking back at the truth table we know that when a and b is both one so nand gate of it function going to be zero so when you have one and uh zero you have one and zero you're going to have zero and one as an output so technically you have a zero for q and then you have complement of it which is one for the q naught and for here the reason why it's going to be zero and one is because when one and zero going in you uh for uh the reason why is when you have one as an input and then you have a q going down here as a so you have this one can be one zero and one uh one and zero can be one and then not of it going back to here one and one can be zero so q will be so this one is one and then you go back to here you have one and one nand gate which is zero so that's why you have zero and one so afterward we have one uh when clock is one s is one r is zero so when s is one and r is zero we we know that um when s and clock is one and one is going to be zero here and then one and zero gonna be one down here so uh according to the truth table you're going to get s one r one uh, f zero r one which is one and zero so you have one for q and then zero for q naught and then the last situation is when both s r and clock is one and you know that when clock and r is one and one it's just going to be zero and when zero zero happen it's going to be undefined because you really when zero zero you're gonna get an one after the nand gate but then you can get both one for q and q naught that's why it's invalid so but this one is undefined so now we move on to uh get the um critical path delay for this second so for this you we we notice that this whole junction is just an sr latch and the other side this one is a get and with that being said we know that sr latch let me rewrite it so we have we know that the latch so the delay for delay the um, sr latch going delay is 2 delta t because the function cannot be connected parallelly due to the fact that the, the input is depend on the output of each other so with that being said you have two delta t so you have one delta t here you have another delta t down there so you have two delta t for the delay of that one junction so now you have to add it to the getting which is actually only one delta t because these can just uh these uh one for the getting is running at the same time because they can be connected parallelly because they can run at the same amount of time and do not really have any input variable depending on each other or depend on anything prior than that so with that being said we have the total delay path equal to 3 delta t and then you have on this side which is the cost of the whole function 
cost of the whole function, we see that we have four AND gate. So four, two input AND gate, two input AND gate, two input N. And now we have to add that to the four NOT gate, four NOT. With that being said, this will be equal to four times two plus two times two, which is two is the number of input plus four times two, it give us two times two is four plus two is six, six times four is 24 plus two times four is eight. So 24 plus eight is just 32. So that is a total cost of this whole circuit.